All right, so before we start, the first thing you want to do once you open iMovie is to go into iMovie and select Preferences. And what you want to make sure is check is Show Advanced Tools. And the way you can make sure that's checked is when I uncheck it, keywords in the mouth, the mouse button disappears. And when I do check it, they reappear. So just make sure those two are showing and just go up here and make sure to show advanced tools are checked or otherwise you really won't see the green screen effect. All right, so once you've imported your green screen footage into iMovie and started a new project, we can start. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I have made a previous video on how to do that. So the first thing that I had to do for my green screen video test is I had to select the background. I'm going to show you two ways of using the background feature in iMovie. So the first one is just using a background or image. So first, what I need to do is just click on this button here and find me a background, which I want to be white just to match the Apple look. So I select my white background and drag it to the work area. And what I had to do is, depending on the length of my green screen footage, I had to adjust this background length. So let's just say 30 seconds, for example. And next, once I have my back, my background, I need to select from my green screen footage here. So let's just say I'm going to use this here. So I'll take this, drag it over top of the white background. And then once I do that, a pop-up screen up here. And all I need to do is select green screen. So now, as you see here, all the green background on the green uh, screen video footage is gone. And all it's showing is the white background. And I can change this white background to anything that I like. So let's just say we use the brown. See, now you see it's brown background. So again, you can use images. But for this one, I just wanted to match the Apple look. So let's just play the video and see how it looks. So as you see, it looks really nice, but now we have some background music. So that's easy to fix. All I have to do is just double click on the video and click on the audio tab and drag the bar all the way down to 0% and click on done. And let's play it again. So as you see, all the audio is now gone. So to not keep it so boring, we wanted to add a little music into it. So what I did, just go over here, click on the music button, and just select some music. So let's just say I'm gonna use this one. So now once I play it, see how it sounds. <laughs> So as you see, adding music does bring the movie more to life. So now let's show you another way of using our movie's green screen feature. Instead of just using a plain background, we can actually add video as the background. So I'm just gonna keep the music in here. And what I'm gonna do is just select some random video. I'm just gonna use my part video, which I used in one of my videos. Let's say we're gonna use this scene here. I'm going to drag it to the workspace. And now I'm just going to go back to my green screen footage. And let's just select a different video this time. So once I have the footage that I'm going to use, I'm going to drag it over top of the video. And then select green screen. So now let's play both of them together. So as you can see, you can achieve using a video in the background instead of just a regular playing image or background, but I'm not really sure when I would probably need to do this, but it is great to have those different options. Now, there are some limitations to our movie. Uh, you really can't like layer up green screens you can't have more than one green screen playing at the same time so that really is a bummer but I mean it's really great that they do include this feature for a free application anyway so 
hopefully this uh, helps some of you guys who did want to achieve the green screen effect and shed some light on a new method that you can use by using the 27 inch iMac display or any other display that has a really nice uh, backlit display. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below or send me a message and I try to answer it as soon as possible. And feel free to tell your friends and subscribe. And feel free to make some video responses with some uh, ways that you find out that you can use the green screen. I'd love to hear it and check it out. So thanks again and I will see you next time.